If there's one muscle group that will make your physique stand out, it's shoulders. Having well-developed delts creates an illusion of a smaller waist, which is essential for creating the X-frame, or V-taper, most bodybuilders strive for. Aside from aesthetics, shoulder training can also help maintain optimal shoulder health. Nonetheless, despite being regarded as one of the most aesthetic muscle groups, many beginner and intermediate trainees struggle to grow their shoulders, never truly reaching their full potential. That is why today we're going to go over everything you need to know about effective shoulder training and the only three dumbbell exercises you need to grow some Death Star delts. First, let's start with some basic anatomy and biomechanics so you understand how to best train the deltoids. The deltoids are comprised of three heads, the anterior deltoid, commonly known as the front delt, the lateral head, also known as the side delt, and the posterior deltoid, also known as the rear delt. Now that we understand the basic anatomy of the delts, let's jump into the biomechanics. The anterior delt assists in shoulder flexion, or raising your arm up, while the lateral delt assists in horizontal shoulder abduction, or raising your arms to your sides. The posterior deltoid assists in transverse shoulder abduction, moving your arms out to the side, as well as external rotation of the shoulder and shoulder hyperextension. For optimal shoulder development, you want to train all three heads. However, this doesn't mean you need to perform isolation exercises for all of them. So what exercises should you prioritize to get the best gains? Let's dive into it. Number one, standing dumbbell shoulder press. If you're looking to maximize shoulder hypertrophy, your program should include a vertical press that targets all three deltoid heads, especially the anterior deltoid. But why the standing dumbbell variation? A 2013 study looked at the deltoid EMG activity for four variations of the shoulder press, a standing and seated variation of the barbell shoulder press, and a standing and seated variation of the dumbbell shoulder press. The results of the study showed that the standing dumbbell variation led to the greatest muscle activation in all three heads. If you'd like to learn more about how to properly set up for a standing overhead press, we recommend checking out our video on the only three upper body exercises you need for mass, where we cover this topic more in depth. Another thing to note is that although the standing dumbbell overhead press will lead to more activation on the side and rear delt, it's mostly a front delt exercise. Therefore, you should include other exercises to specifically target the other heads if you're looking to maximize overall shoulder growth. This brings us to the second exercise on this list, seated dumbbell lateral raises. When trying to hit the side delt, there's nothing like lateral raises as they effectively train horizontal shoulder abduction. It's important to include isolation exercises for the side delts as most compound exercises aren't effective at targeting this area of the deltoids. For example, a 2013 study found that the dumbbell lateral raise and cable lateral raise resulted in much more side delt activation compared to the shoulder press and bench press. Since this video is about dumbbell exercises to add mass to your shoulders, we recommend doing seated dumbbell lateral raises as your go-to isolation exercise to target the side delts. The main reason we recommend the seated version over the standing variation is because it reduces momentum and eliminates your ability to cheat. Speaking of cheating on reps, remember that lateral raises are a single joint isolation exercise, which means you'll probably get the best results by using lighter weights and higher reps in the 10 to 20 rep range. It's common for lifters to use too much weight on this exercise and recruit other muscle groups to assist in the movement, like the traps or lower back. For this reason, it makes sense to progress in reps until you're strong enough to progress in weight, rather than adding weight and risking form breakdown. For example, think of a weight you can do for three sets of 10 reps right now. Instead of increasing the load on your next workout and going for the same three sets of 10, work your way up to 15 to 20 reps with the same weight. Once you hit the end of the rep range, in this case, three sets of 20 reps, you can increase the weight and reset the progression. Remember, the goal is progressive overload, not to lift more weight for the sake of lifting more weight. When performing the seated lateral raises, there are some cues you should keep in mind. First, retract your shoulder blades before starting the exercise. From there, focus on sweeping the dumbbell out and up, leading with the elbow until you reach shoulder height. For more side delt engagement, lift your arms slightly to the front, about 15 to 30 degrees, instead of directly to the sides. But be careful not to overdo it and turn the exercise into a front raise. And finally, and this is a controversial topic, but you can also internally rotate the shoulder at the top by raising your pinky above your thumb to get more side delt activation. However, this is not recommended if you feel any discomfort or had previous shoulder injuries, as there is research suggesting this technique can lead to more shoulder impingement. Number three, chest supported rear delt fly. 
To wrap up this list, we need an exercise that's gonna target the rear delts, an important muscle often neglected by most people. The rear delts give your shoulders a more rounded 3D appearance and contribute to overall shoulder and postural health. Similar to the side delts, they don't get a lot of activation from shoulder presses alone. However, it's worth noting that the rear delts are active in compound pulling exercises like barbell rows and pull-ups. But isolation exercises tend to outperform rear delt activation, which is why you should include them into your training. One of our personal favorites is the chest-supported rear delt fly because it minimizes momentum and prevents you from cheating, thus placing more tension on the rear delts. For this exercise, you want to set the bench at about 30 degrees and place your lower chest against the top of the bench. From there, focus on sweeping the weight out and to the sides, briefly holding the contraction at the top and controlling the descent. Similar to the lateral raises, peak tension is going to occur when the dumbbells are at the top of the movement and it will progressively go down as you bring your arms to the bottom. To work around this, stop the dumbbells slightly short at the bottom to keep constant tension on the rear delts. Another cue that might help activate more of the rear delts is your grip. A 2013 study by Schoenfeld et al. suggested a neutral grip may result in more tension for the rear delts, but also noted some people may get better activation from a pronated or palms facing down grip. Thus, it's probably best to choose what feels best for you and gives you the most mind-muscle connection. Finally, since this is a single joint isolation exercise, we recommend using a similar progression scheme to the one suggested previously. Some common mistakes for the rear delt fly include going too fast or turning the movement into a row, where the back muscles are taking over. Remember that you want to sweep the weight out and put as much tension on the rear delts as possible. This may require you to use a lighter weight and slow down the movement, but it will lead to more gains over time. Before we wrap up this video, there's some things you should know that are going to help you take your shoulder training to the next level. First, be mindful that your shoulders assist in any compound exercises, and this will also count as indirect volume. For example, a barbell bench press is mainly a chest exercise, but it will also target your anterior deltoid. A barbell row is mainly a back exercise, but it will also target your rear delts. Second, the deltoids are comprised of about 50% type 1 slow twitch fibers and 50% type 2 or fast twitch fibers, which means they'll likely respond better to a combination of rep ranges and loads. Finally, front raises are overrated. Most people don't need to include them in their program as the anterior deltoid already gets sufficient volume for most pushing exercises. On top of that, according to some EMG data, front raises aren't that good at activating the front delts compared to the shoulder press. In fact, a 2014 study showed that front raises only achieved 57% activation versus 74% in the dumbbell shoulder press. Given that most people already have overdeveloped front delts and could benefit from more side and rear delt work, we don't think you should spend your energy on front raises unless you really enjoy doing them. So there you have it. The only three dumbbell shoulder exercises you need to build 3D delts. If you have access to cables and machines, they can also be an effective way to train your shoulders, especially for isolation exercises like cable lateral raises and the reverse pec deck, as these exercises provide a different resistance curve and can result in more constant tension on the delts. Nonetheless, with just a few dumbbells, you can absolutely grow some impressive delts. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. Also, if your training and nutrition are in order but your muscle gains have slowed down dramatically or stopped completely, try our best-selling muscle and strength formula, Maxed Out. Packed with the four most potent and highly researched muscle building ingredients, Maxed Out is guaranteed to have you pushing more weight in the gym than ever before and packing on new size at a rate that won't go unnoticed or your money back. And right now you can get 25% off your entire order plus free shipping by using the coupon code MONSTER at checkout. So head over to musclemonsters.com supplements or click the link in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.